Lucas, my biggest advice to you, don't you laugh, don't smack, and when she's mad, don't talk. Don't talk at all. Just pray, and everything will pass. As someone who has raised my son to be a perfect gentleman, I have to tell you, Caroline, that you've landed quite the catch. But you know who's luckier? My son for having found you. You're an exceptional person who means the world to Lucas, and you hold a special place in my heart too, because you are the woman who makes my son truly happy. Having Lucas as a son has been a tremendous blessing for me. In many ways, Lucas has been my mini me and my twin. But over the years, he has grown and has become his own person. While I've tried to teach him many things over the years, he's taught me a few things as well. Lucas is someone who truly cares about people and he will always be the person who goes the extra mile for the people in his life. Okay, get comfortable. Ah. Uh, no, I'm not going to take any shortcuts on this because I only got to do it once. So uh, thank the Lord. Hope I get through it. But uh, thank you all for coming tonight again. It's just been a tremendous blessing. I hope every... Uh, I didn't even get to the first paragraph. <laughs> but when you have a daughter, not only are you a provider, but you be this instinct... Just God-given instinct is not only am I going to have to provide for this child, but I'm going to protect this child. And uh, my prayer expanded when she was probably about 13, 14 years old. She's a gorgeous little girl, just like she is today. She's uh, always been gorgeous. She takes after her mama. And uh, boys start coming around, and your prayer expands. And uh, my prayer got longer and longer, but I started praying when she was about 13, almost every day. I said, God. Please provide a husband for Caroline that loves her almost as much as I do. And I do anything to protect her, no matter what. And one Saturday night, we're gonna get it all out. Okay. Isaac, uh, the little fella that played ball uh, for me, uh, was waiting tables at a restaurant, and he texted and sent Isaac a text. He said, Isaac, your sister's here with another guy eating out. So I immediately, and I, I tried to remember, I don't remember if we were together or whatever, but I immediately said, what, what, come on, more information. What, what you mean she's in? What do you mean she's in? Say? So the boy says, well, tell your dad, he's clean cut, he's got a tight haircut, and he's got cowboy boots on. I said, thank you, Lord. So, uh, <clears throat> I had no idea at that time, though, that uh, that young man that she was having dinner with at that restaurant was answering my prayer. He said, right here. And uh, I cannot thank God enough for this young man. He is, he's something special. He really is. We'll raise a glass to uh, Lucas and Caroline. I love you both very much, and uh, cheers. I would like to introduce to you Caroline and Lucas Real.